What's going on guys? Swordsman3 here and today I'm bringing you a few different mods for Skyrim on the PS4 Special Edition and I'm looking pretty sweet in these gray beard robes if I must say so myself. And perhaps you're wondering, Swordsman3, why are you dressed like a gray beard? It's because the first two mods I'm going to showcase actually deal with the gray beards and high Hrothgar. So the second question you're probably asking is, well Swordsman3, why are you in Riverwood? And my answer for you is that the first mod is called Immersive High Hrothgar Elevator. And basically, it adds an elevator here in Riverwood that takes you straight to the courtyard of High Hrothgar. No more climbing the 7,000 steps. No more dealing with stupid frost trolls or anything else along the way. No more spiritual journey of enlightenment up to the top of the mountain. No, today we're going to be fat, lazy Americans, and we're taking the elevator. But before we get there, I want to go ahead and let you know of an update. Cyan49 has updated their Katana Pack mod so that now you can actually have a scabbard showing once you draw your katana. This is the same color and style as the one you made. For instance, my ebony katana would have an ebony scabbard, and it looks pretty cool. But the one I want to show you is actually the gold and silver um, armory sets that I did earlier has been updated with some new stuff so let's go check that out first same spot right over here jump off the bridge the lady statue and then you jump up and oh got it first time jump over here and if we look at the silver set we have some silver dawn guard armor heavy and light uh silver shield oh the silver dawn guard shield Looking sweet, if I have to say so myself. Uh, let's see what light version. Let's see what else we got here. Silver arrow. Uh, a silver arrow quiver. Very nice. That looks really cool. I must not like that. A silver bolt. Same thing with a quiver. That's all the same, I think. I think that's the same silver sword. Look at this. It's the dwarven sword but silver. I'm going to go ahead and take that. Thank you. That's the same. Yeah, I think the rest is pretty much... Ooh! Silver greatsword. The dwarven style. But again, not the one-handed. It's okay. Let's see what else we got. Silver dagger. Look at that silver blade. That looks sweet. I like. I'm a fan. Very nice. All right. Uh, let's check out the gold. See if there's anything different here. Let's see if there's anything different. Ooh, golden polished mail. That looks nice. That looks really good. Okay, that's the heavy version. Okay, golden dawn guard armor. Uh, golden mail. Okay, there's the light version. Look at it polished up. That is nice. The value less, that's weird. Oh, well. taking the polished. Let's see, same kind of shield. Yeah, okay, very good. Uh, polished helmet heavy. All right, very nice. A light golden polished helmet. All right, golden crown. See, oh, the gauntlets and the boots. Let's just take all that. Oh, there's the light gauntlets. The light boots. Whoops. That's okay. Now, do we have the gold katana? Oh, there's the golden sword. That looks kind of like the regular sword. It's okay. Um, there we go. Yes. The golden blade. I like it. Now, Cyan49 also made gold brand, which, if you didn't know, is an actual Daedric artifact and has this... It's located in the Boethia quest line, uh, which for some reason I can't get to work on my on my game. So I would love to get it, but until then, I guess I can just take the the golden blade and pretend. It just doesn't have the fire enchantment, but that's okay. All right, let's check out this armor and see how sweet we look. Oh, nice! I like the polished golden armor. That looks. Let me get out of this fire basin here. Yeah. 
step into the light. Oh, yeah, that looks really good. That looks nice. I am a fan. Now, for weapons, I have equipped. Okay, so on the right is the katana pack, uh, the Stallroom katana, which I think looks pretty cool. And then here's the new silver sword. It looks like the dwarven. I like. I am a fan. All right. So let me go ahead and get changed back into my graybeard robes so we can continue with the mod showcase. Okay. In order to take the elevator, you have to come through Riverwood and go... Let me see if I can find it. I believe you go this way beside the inn. Here we go. And it's going to be back here with these steps. And it's actually called something different. I have the HUD turned off, but I'm just going to open these doors. And here is our elevator. Cool looking little elevator here. Very nice. Let's go. And here we are at the courtyard to High Hrothgar. Here's the elevator so we can get back to Riverwood if we need. I like this mod. It's simple. It's effective. I give it a 10 out of 10. And it puts us in a prime location for our next mod, which is actually behind us. The Hrothgar Tower by Entwaifu. Now, this actually adds a player home to High Hrothgar, because if you follow the storyline and there's the part where you're kind of accepted in, but they won't actually let you join, and you have kind of free access to High Hrothgar, which kind of does nothing. I mean, it's a beautiful place up here, don't get me wrong, but there's not much to it. So this mod actually adds a, a player home that fits the aesthetic with everything else, and apparently has some secrets, so let's... uh. Let's check this out here. We got these steps. La, 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 la. And we'll go up. Oh, is this a stable? Is this, is this new? We have a cow. Hello, cow. Alright. Let's go this way. Up the door. Alright. Nice and cozy. Looks like kind of the rest of High Hrothgar. We got here, we got some books. Oh, I guess since I haven't gotten to that part of the quest, it counts as stealing. Got some bookcases here. Very nice. What else we got over here? Looks like a little cooking. Cooking fireplace. Alchemy lab. Um, little chair. We can sit down. Rest our weary bones. All right, what's down here? Nice. Okay, so turn left. Here's the bedroom. Little chest. Store our stuff. A bed. Another little bookshelf. And and what is that? Hang on. Let me put on. I need to turn on the hoods. I want to see what. It looks like the jagged crown. All right, there we go. And uh. Storm Crown. Now this is cool. Because if you don't know the lore, uh, Tiber Septum actually came here uh, to train in the way of the voice and to learn his shouts. Because he's also Dragonborn like you. And he was known as Talos Storm Crown whenever he was a general before he became Talos, of course. So you can actually take the Storm Crown. I guess this is where he stayed during his time training with the grave. That is a cool touch. I really like this. Let's check it out and see what it does. Again, since I don't have access to the place yet, because I'm not doing the main story, it's kind of stealing, but you know what? You know, no one's looking. It's okay. Let's check this out. I have way too much stuff here. Storm Crown. Time between shouts is reduced 50%. That is awesome. I am very pleased with this. That is cool. Let's try it on. 
That's how we look. <gasps> it's just like the dragon, jagged crown, but I am the new Talos. This is awesome. I love it. Absolutely fantastic. That little extra bit of attention to the lore and detail. Yes, uh, 11 out of 10. This is freaking amazing. I am I am happy. Look at this water feature. This is beautiful. I mean, the tree's kind of covering a little bit, but it's still... I like this. This is a very cool player home. This is amazing. Uh, very small, very cozy. Uh, I'm still stealing. Uh, but I appreciate all the effort that went into this. This is really cool. The aesthetics are nice. It fits in with the rest of Pyroth Garb. Um, does this take us to a balcony? Oh, wow. A dragon skull with some candles in it. I'm, I'm impressed with this mo- Ooh, a little bug. Or two bugs. Little bugs. I'm impressed with- It's a shrine to Kinnereth, but it says- It says activate shrine to Kind Shrine of Kine, which was actually her old Nordic name before the Imperials- renamed her Kenner, which of course she's responsible for the way of the voice I love this mod we have some uh, Soljan fragments and dragon's tongue and you can see the elevator there which of course is a separate mod uh, yes this mod is amazing I love it absolutely fantastic this this mod as well as the immersive elevators gets the swordsman 3's seal of approval which, if I didn't mention, the elevator is by Jim's Don? Jim's Don? Jim's Don? I'll, I'll link it in the description. You'll see. But this is fantastic. Look at that view. 